Okay, in our next big section here, we're going to talk about granular synthesis, grain table synthesis using Reason's Maelstrom. This is a great synth. There's tons of cool sounds you can get out of this. Lots of different ways, lots of cool features in here. So let's first just talk about what grain table synthesis is. Let's focus in on that first word of it, grain. What a grain is, when it comes to audio anyway, imagine you've got an audio file, like a sample, like, like some kind of small sample, and you run it through a cheese grater and shred it into many, many, many little tiny samples, right? So you've got all these samples all over the place, these little tiny ones. And if you put them right next to each other in the correct order and then hit play, so you play each little tiny sample in the correct place at the correct time, it will sound perfectly normal. But because you've already run them through this cheese grater, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff to them. You can reorder them, you can resort them, you can start at the beginning, you can start at the end, you can start somewhere in the middle. There's all kinds of stuff you can do once you're not treating it as a sample anymore, but instead you're treating it as thousands of little samples. That's basically what grain table is. So that's the word grain. Each of those little slices of cheese is the grain. And then the table is just this order that we have them in, right? So we have them in a table and we run through the table and we say, play grain one, play grain two, play grain three. Or we say, play grain one, then play grain four, then play grain two and etc. So we don't have to go in order of the grain. So this produces some really cool results. And that's essentially what grain table synthesis is. So when we start looking at Maelstrom, you'll see a lot of really familiar stuff, but a couple new things, right? There are a couple things new to grain table synthesis, but a lot of things that, are, that will be really familiar to us from subtractive synthesis that we just learned in the subtractor. Let's get into working with Maelstrom interface and making some sounds using grain table synthesis. <laughs> 